Hi YouTube, welcome to another review of mine. This time it's of the Hot Toys DX12 The Dark Knight Rises Batman. Now guys, before I actually start with the figure review, I would just like to apologize for having not reviewed or posted reviews for a very long time. It's because I'm very, very busy with my school schedules and stuff. But now it's summer vacation, at least here in the Philippines, so that means I get to have more time to review stuff. And from now on, I promise to occasionally put up stuff, unlike before that I didn't really put up any stuff at all. So at least I'll put up some stuff. Yeah, so time. going on with the review, as usual, we start with the packaging. So let me just take away Batman there and bring out the packaging. So here we've got the packaging for the DX12 Batman. I'll just bring away the camera here because the box is really big. I'm sorry for the lamp right here. But as you can see, at the front, it's the broken bat symbol or the bat symbol used in the posters for the Dark Knight Rises where it shows the cracks and stuff around the bat logo which is really cool this part here is on a matte finish shiny glossy matte finish and this one is on a like hardbound book texturing and stuff down there it says the Dark Knight Rises Batman DX12 1 4th scale I mean 1, one six scale collectible figure Hot Toys DX logos and DC Comics the old DC Comics logo and yeah, I forgot to say I got this figure for like a month ago. I just forgot to review it for. A, I just it's forgot like to review here, it. There you can see the continuing cracks, and it says right there again, Batman one six scale collectible figure. At the back, we got there a big D DX logo, and some credits here and stuff like copyrights and warnings. And on this side of the box, I can see there are also the continuing cracks from the picture at front. The box opens up like this. From the side, due to the magnets. You open up the box, you'll see this. Uh, on this side, it's the chalk drawing of the Bat logo from the movies. And again, it says down there, Batman, once a scale collectible figure. On this part of the box, you see a cardboard insert. On it is this little blueprint accessory which is really cool on Hot Toys part it shows the um, the diagram of the bat let me just zoom in right there really really awesome extra accessory here by Hot Toys when you put down this insert you'll see this um, this is the part where the actual figure will be stored in this is actually layers and layers of foam, uh, two layers of foam one layer on the top to hold the figure and other accessories and one layer at the bottom to hold the bases and stuff you can see there it comes with two faces, interchangeable faces um, Batman head, face number one the, pitch, the features of the Batman head including parallel eyeball rolling system or purse patented by Hot Toys Limited, translucent iris, authentic likeness of Christian Bale is Batman. I'm sorry for the outside noise. And down here, I got a Bruce Wayne interchangeable head sculpt. Features authentic likeness to Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne and detailed paint ap applications. DX12, details about the DX12 and stuff. So now, after you're looking at the packaging, so we look at the figure. the figure outside the box looking really, really awesome. As you can see here, really good head sculpt by Hot Toys. It is removable. It is held on by magnets by the neck. As you can see here. Really, really awesome. Attention to detail here by Hot Toys. They got the texturing on the cowl correctly. The the um, the shape of the cowl is awesome. Like these little parts right here by the eyebrows and the cheekbones. The definition of the cowl is really, really awesome. Faces. This is the scowling face. By, um, which comes included with the figure really really awesome the eyes just look at those eyes really really realistic very wet looking just really awesome 
put it on back there. Let me just straighten the figure out. As you can see here, really, really nice sculpting on the sculpted parts because this is actually a new technology, I mean, new suit developed by Hot Toys, which is an actual um, cloth underlining for the suit. Unlike before, they're all rubber and plastic. This is a mix of rubber, plastic, and actual cloth. So it is really awesome. It gives more possibility to the figure and less, less chances of um, corroding rubber and stuff. So, as you can see here, really, really nice sculpting on this chest piece. This is plastic. This is also plastic, the shoulder parts. Really awesome. Held on by garters on the side. This part here is rubber, which is really flexible and stuff. And the forearm gauntlets really look awesome. I love the this part right here. It covers up the, the elbow part and this part, the um, spikes or fins on his forearms, really really awesome. And the sculpting of the hands really captures the look from the movie. On the body itself, really really nice sculpting here. There the rubber and really really accurate looking. Just really awesome. The utility, the utility belt is colored gold as usual. Really um, accurate color of gold, really eye-catching, really eye-catching, really high-tech looking and stuff, and really Batman. Looking down at this thighs, you can see here these armor pieces are also rubber, and underneath it is also cloth. This is rubber, and this is also rubbery plastic, and this one is hard plastic now. So, really, really well, really, really nice detailing here by Hot Toys as usual by their work and the back you can see there are more sculpting sculpted pieces and stuff you can put here the Ratnal gun which I'll show you show you later hmm. and they love the cape here although some people say these this the material used for this cape is different from the one used from the on the um, DX1 figure I don't really mind it looks awesome still Although it is a little bit thin than I'd like, it is still really awesome.